Well, hello, you majestic, wonderful, fan diddly tastic human beings. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And welcome back to Iza Boo Boo New Horizons. The best game ever, where Iza Boo Boo is every villager. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? Iza Boo Boo New Horizons coming in hot. The hottest game of 2021. Is a boo boo all the time. We got day drunk. Is a boo boo. <laughs> morning, morning drunk. Is a boo boo. <laughs> She's drinking them twisted teas all day. What's going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Oh, it's so loud. Sweet baby Jesus. All right. We got villager hunting to do. Oh my God. What am I wearing? The two out of two. The stag jerky has worked. Hey. Hey, gotta love the jerky. What's going on, Murphy? Jarena, what'd it do? She drinking Jack and Coke? Gotta step up. She's gotta step up her game and move on to the Jack and Ginger. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Kate. See, how are you doing today? What'd it do, Murphy? Senior Bacon? You know what? We gotta get Senior Bacon some clothes. We got to. We gotta get their photos, too. Uh, also, definitely want to start decorating and stuff. I'm getting one step closer every day to starting a modded series of Animal Crossing. You're wearing the next set of clothes to be cleansed in the fire. <laughs> Louisa, do you hear anything? I hear everything, Louisa. Everything. Never had Jack and Ginger before? Yeah. Well, it's really just whiskey and ginger ale. Like, you don't have to drink Jack Daniels. There's way better whiskeys that are cheaper, that are way better than Jack Daniels. Uh, Marinella, thank you so much for becoming a gold tier member. Uh, but the whiskey and ginger ale is way better for your stomach. It goes down way smoother. And if you put a lime in it, it's super delicious. Um, way better, way better than whiskey and Coke by far. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Do I want to be a jockey today? What am I doing with my life? Sword boy? I don't know. Martin! Martin? I, you, every single time I mess this up. Every time you come back, there's something different before bed tonight. Hi, tagging everyone in the chat. Sir Bacon needs clothes. I agree. Every single time I mess up your name. And you correct me every time. And I get it right. And then I forget again. I am literally the worst human ever. I'm putting on a baby outfit. And a cowboy hat. <laughs> Maybe Bacon needs a cowboy hat. There's no good clothes today. Did the plot autofill? No, so I was late because I was trying to make sure that I was going to the right day for this. Um, the, the reason why I was late is I was watching the stream yesterday to see if I actually moved Bacon out, and I did not. Um, so I had to, like, find the point in the stream where we had started mail time. And if I'm wrong, then we may have uh, an invader that we'll have to murder. Tag under Stormwatch. Hope it... Uh, hope I lose internet. Whoa. Man. Savage. Be like, I ain't watching no tag streams today. I gotta lose internet. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Slayer. Thank you for the super chat. Hope you're doing well. My pockets are full. Yes, pockets are full of treasures. <laughs> I, I know I know what you meant, Kingdom. I know what you meant. Hit me right in the feels. Where's Senior Bacon's house? Oh, other direction. Hey, see? I did things. I did all the things. I really enjoyed taking photos of sunrise, the moon, and stuff. I was wondering if you had any recommendations on a camera that would be good for that. Um, for, like, the moon and, like, sunrises and stuff? Literally any camera. Any camera will do. Whatever is within your budget, that'll get you into doing it. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get into it, for sure. Like, uh... 
any camera and then upgrading your lenses is really where it's at like good glass is where a lot of the photo stuff will come from so any canon nikon sony personally i use sony right now um well that's just you know my choice i plan on upgrading at some point to a <laughs> um what is it the uh a medium format camera i don't know if i ever will though it's too expensive I want to fly, baby. Let's go. Third time's the charm. Right tag, Dutch name. In English, pronounced as Mar rhymes with car, tin rhymes with line. Marline. See? Every single time. Marline. You know what? I'm going to write this down. I'm putting it on the desktop. My desktop background is going to be how to pronounce your name properly. Because every single time and then every single time you explain it to me i'm like i'm an idiot oh my god <laughs> martine thank you for the super chat i got this oh my god post-it notes exactly all right let's see how this day is gonna go Totally not asking for bad purposes. Which villager do you not want to come across? I'm not telling you. I'm not telling. Son of a biscuit. Who is this? Who you is? Oh, it's Willow. Hello. Uh, Idaho girl, I hope you have a wonderful day. Heh, heh. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Smooth, Steph, smooth. I am never telling Steph what villagers I hate ever again. She's a cute chunk. She is kind of a cute chunk. Dutch names are the hardest, right, Tago? Yes, Rosita. Oh my god. I need to learn Dutch specifically for this. What is. I wonder, I used to know exactly what our, uh, I wonder what our top 10, uh, countries are at the moment. I know it's going to be US, UK, but then what is after that? Let's find out. I want to fly, baby. Let's go, Orville. So I, w I can tell you who I do want today. I think, actually, I don't know who I want. Are we going for a pig today? Who, what are we going for today? I don't even know. I need some good chonks, ladies and gentlemen. Chonkify me. Frita? All right, audience. There we go. Time for takeoff, baby. Mm -hmm. Ah, other channels your audience watches. Well, I can see exactly where all the Animal Crossing stuff is coming from, or where the uh, <laughs> where the Animal Crossing 2.0 update stuff is coming from. I see you, ladies and gentlemen. See you. <laughs> I haven't looked at this in forever. There's so much information here now. A 25 per point. So, let's see here. There's lots of fun information. There it is. Top geographies. There we go. All right. All right. Who do you think is number three on the list of... Uh, so we've got United States and United Kingdom. Always. But then what do you think is the next highest viewed country? You could also get a penguin. We Oh, we could get a penguin. We could. Where's the villager? Pietro's a chonk. So enjoy all the chonky Pietro vibes. Steph, I swear to God. Oh, my God. That's almost as bad. Aragon, are you upset about something? Are you being harassed? Canada? Yes! Uh, maple syrup land is, in fact, number three. At 5%. At 5%. It goes 46.3% United States, 8.4% United Kingdom, and 5.0% Canada. All right, what do you think is next? At 4.1%. Yeah, I'm part of the 5%. Did I just invite that dude to my island? Did I autopilot and invite him? Germany! Nailed it! 
Yep, yeah, Germany comes in fourth place at 4.1%. Then we have a massive drop from there at 2.8%. Does anybody want to guess what number five is? It's... Did we get it? What are we guessing percentages for? For the commuter. Where all the commuter is from. I didn't invite him, thank God. Australia, yep, it is Australia. At 2.8%. Then it goes India, Netherlands, Philippines, Indonesia, and France. Okay, I still do have tickets. Let's empty our stuff out here first. Bam, 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 bam. But if anyone wonders why we live stream during US times, it's because that's 50% of the, uh... Why am I, what am I doing with my life here? <laughs> Rosita. <laughs> Paragon, what's going on? Can I be the representative of Germany? <laughs> oh my god. You're allowed to use other languages in chat. I've never said you can't use other languages in chat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Only if I can rep for the Netherlands. all the prezzies. So tonight we've got the Monster Hunter update, which I would like to cover. Even if we don't cover it, I would like to at least play it. Or make a video of it or something. I don't even know. I don't even know what life is anymore. It's my favorite anime? Pokemon! I don't know. I don't really have favorites of things. I'm not the type of person that has like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Because <laughs> there's never been anything, maybe other than Cowboy Bebop, that I've watched more than, like, one time through, you know? What designates a favorite, anyways? Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. All right. We finally... Uh, I gotta get a different outfit going. I'm feeling... I'm feeling like this is gonna be a very cursed outfit if I do anything with it. What the hell is this? All right. Cowboy uh, Ninja. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Of course I've watched Demon Slayer. Apparently the season two trailer is finally out. I haven't gotten to see the movie yet either. It was supposed to come out and then what the hell happened to the movie? Where is our English version? I would I wouldn't mind watching the freaking Japanese version, but I can't find any place to download that either. I am upset. You need to watch rewatch My Hero Academia. You talking to me? Like I've watched it. I'm not going to watch it twice though. I already know what's going to happen. Uh, my daughter wants you to know that she made her own top hat in Animal Crossing so she can be like you. She's a huge fan. Oh, that's amazing. Megan, I wish you and your and your daughter the very best. Thank you. That is awesome. Bonk, 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 bonk. Look at him, Naruto, run like a champion. The movie was out on theaters in the U.S. for like two weeks. Woo! Win! <laughs> Don't fold clothes, Georgia. It's a trap.
PlayStation. It's on the PlayStation Store. <gasps> well, I know what I'm doing tonight. Yep. Palm tree lamp. Lisa, how are you doing? Thank you for the sassy lemon. Whoops. Not folding your clothes as a trap because you just have to do because then you have to deal with it later. Nah, throw them in a pile. Live your best life. If we just normalize wrinkly clothes, everyone in the entire world could save so much of their time in in life. <laughs> Stop! Why did we wrap these? Ah! I'm hunting for villagers along with you. Good luck for both of us. Thank you, false magic. Open. Ooh, Taurus bathtub. Lavinia, what's going on? How are you doing? Street piano. They're wrapped in pink near the, near the museum. I'm sure I have seen them. I've not picked them up yet, I don't think, though. Bum, bum. Uh, but false magic, Lisa, Megan, Steph, Spellman, Idaho, thank you for the super chats, you wonderful beans. Thank you so much. I read Peanut P. Newt now. It's because that is the proper way to spell it or say it. Long live P. Newt, destroyer of worlds. All right, let's go. We got to get that good luck. I mean, we have the outfit to attract all the good villagers. Job searching and waiting for offers. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you. And good luck with the job offers. You're going to get something awesome. I was very sad I gave you a pansy table and you never used it. What? Well, to be fair, I haven't used it yet. We've been villager hunting for like two weeks now. Excuse me, Jarena. Cursing me with bees. How could you do this to me? We're gonna have to test fate. And if I get stung, it's all your fault. Bunk, 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 bunk. Jackie K, thank you for the bunt fruit and brock. What's going on? My dog woke me up this morning, but now I see why I can make it to a morning for me stream. I think it's time for coffee. Aw, yeah, Brooke, I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry your doggo woke you up super duper early, though. I was also up at the butt crack of... Well, it was the taint of dawn. And then I drove an hour to see three minutes of the eclipse slash clouds and then drove an hour home and then napped for two hours. And now I'm here. Well, after our... <gasps> Judy with the big old booty. I feel like Judy and Beardo need to be a thing on our island because they're both amazing although judy with her big old booty will get in my way all the time we can't get her again we've had her like four times i almost did it though hope you're all having a fabulous hump day just booked our wedding venue so it's a good day real castle on the ocean Man, that doge bringing in the goods. That is awesome, Sarah. Congratulations. That is amazing. At some point in time, me and Ashley need to start planning our wedding. Uh, but congratulations, Sarah. That is awesome. Gift her to a member. Boom, Judy with the big old booty. Sammy Faze, how are you and the kiddos doing today? If she appears... Okay, here's the deal. 
If Judy appears again on the hunt, we will get her. Then it's meant to be, right? <laughs> Live stream the wedding. Harry Potter inspired wedding. Oh, snap. <laughs> Don't tell Ashley. <laughs> I think it's time for some, uh, for some soju, soju and animal hunting. Uh, cursed by the flower moon. Judy is a flower. Georgia, did you tell your husband that your baby's name is going to be Blood Moon? And how did he feel about it? I'm just here, Soju? Yes, Lavinia. Uh, Zaya sent us some for my birthday. What flavor? I have currently got apple flavor. <laughs> he proposed me in Diagon Alley and the ring was on a golden snitch. That is amazing. It's way fancier than my proposal. I'm just horrible at life. You didn't tell him? Oh my god. You better tell him because your baby's name is Blood Moon. Them's the rules. <laughs> it's just the baby's born and then he just sees Blood Moon on the birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Fly me away, bird boy. Can we villager hunt on the other account? We can, right? <laughs> At least you didn't propose in a dirty, cheap hotel room like my husband did. <laughs> Our house was dirty at the time. Does that count? They made a video about their proposal. I did. It was not very exciting. I am horrible at surprises. Like I get so I'm very bad at getting birthday presents, Christmas presents, any kind of surprise because I just want to give it to the person. So even if I did make some extravagant plans, I would have not have made it that long anyways. Natasha, holy Jesus. How have you been? Welcome back. How are you doing? what it do? Oh my god, look at this alligator. Oh god. Look at that face. Does this game also have nasty gator bites? It does. And can you get it caught on fire? Sadly, you cannot get caught on fire, but look at the gator. Oh my goodness. Mar Martine! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my brain. Thank you for the super chat. Them gator bites is nasty though. Kids are doing great. I'm back uh, working with animals at my wildlife rescue. That is awesome. And I'm more convinced than ever that we need opossums in Animal Crossing. I need them. Oh, no. We had a possum stuck under our porch yesterday. Which then caused the dogs to destroy the yard that I just had done. Yep. Just spent all sorts of money getting the backyard all fixed up from the dogs, and they destroy it in like one day. This was the correct pronunciation. Post it's helped. No, I got this this time. I have remembered all of the things. Did Ashley bring it in and baby it? I'm surprised she didn't, to be honest. Like, I totally anticipated another animal coming in. The house. And Martine, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> oh, Brooke. Oh, my goodness. Halfway through your master's degree, start a new job, got my vaccine, life is busy. Good. Hell yeah. That is awesome. 
Wait, what happened, Abigail? What did I miss? Abigail supports the the uh, blood moon. Oh no, Abigail! Sometimes it's just meant to be like that, though. Now you got time to focus on yourself and your book and all that stuff, so you'll be better off. You'll be good. Sometimes the best things are hidden in the worst of times. Just got to stay positive. That's all. Uh, Lucas, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. Hello, cat. Rudy. Good old Rudy. Mm -hmm. Hear me out, Disney wedding. Oh my God. <laughs> the funny thing is, so when we saw her family, when we went to California, her sister spent like the entire time trying to convince us to do a Disney cruise wedding. Even when it was your choice, it is still painful for a while. That is true. But a Disney themed wedding. Disney cruises are the best. I feel like Ashley would be permanently sick if she ever went on a boat. Look my ticket. There we go. I know things. Disney must have a 500% markup on weddings. Oh no. Yeah, she gets most just like pretty easy. I mean, she feels uh, funky when Everly is like walking around in the trailer because it moves a little bit. So I can only imagine how bad it would be on like a cruise ship or something like that or like a boat. Oh, Tiffany! <laughs> Laugh time with Tiffany. What does a lemon say when it answers the phone? Yellow! Oh, God. Oh, the dad joke of doom. And a pink kangaroo. The smaller the boat, the worse the feeling. That is very true. Might be not be so bad on a cruise ship, but, uh... I mean, the RV or the camper or the caravan... Doesn't shake all that much and... It does not make her feel good, so. And Lulu, thank you for the sassy lemon. Hey, Chris, thank you for the sassy lemon. And Lulu, thank you very much. Do not bring up the caravan camper van argument again. Oh, we're going to talk about it. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that again. You can't feel it unless the boat is going really fast or you're very drunk. Perfect. <laughs> Are we looking for Vlad? I think so. I don't... I don't know. We might just play it by our eyes today. Instead of playing it by ear. <laughs> Bad jokes. What about the cookies and biscuits discussion? We could never go there again. Bianca again? Yeah, we've been getting Bianca a lot recently for some reason. I don't know why.
Your math. Grow up and solve your own problems. I agree with that statement. Wholeheartedly agree. Especially since um, kids nowadays are having to do that crazy kind of math. The kind of math that assumes you're an absolute idiot. And don't know how to visualize numbers, so it makes you do all of the things. I couldn't do... <laughs> I couldn't solve first grade math. At least not in the way they wanted it. Oh, God. Crazy kind of math? Yeah, common core math. Bow, bow, bow. I have abandoned math for my life. <laughs> See light with our plant? Hell yeah. Like, it's so complicated, it's supposed to make the kids smarter? No. What it is... Uh, so, Common Core math, there's a lot that goes into it, but at its core, huh, Common Core, it uh, assumes that um, we're stupid and we don't know how to visualize numbers properly. Uh, so it makes you take 15 billion steps to do a one-step problem, and you have to, like, write it all out, and it's, it's, there's a lot more to it, and I'm not explaining it very well, but the, uh, the concept was formed by the understanding, or the thought that we can't actually visualize numbers properly, and that's why kids are having problems with math, um, and a bunch of other things as well, but basically it assumes you're an idiot, and that you need to do things this way to understand it. It's, it's... So it basically takes like 15 minutes to solve a three second or a one second problem. It's, it's, it's rough. So it makes you dumber, but it also makes you understand how numbers work better, supposedly. But all it does is make you need a lot of paper to solve like five plus five. <laughs> you gotta... <laughs> it's a nightmare. Because, uh, yeah. So we were, when, uh, when Caden was in Texas, they were had, you know, normal math. And then they were forced him to do common core math when he moved to Ohio. And then he could no longer do math anymore. He was, like, so good at math. Like, he just knew numbers, like, right off the bat. And they started teaching him common core math, and he couldn't do it anymore. It's just, it's, it's, it's rough. And now he's horrible at math. Well, not horrible at math, but not nearly as good as he was when he was, like, not even in kindergarten. Uh, horrible, horrible common core in there. Writing to explain takes all the beauty and elegance out of math. Yeah. We're almost done cleaning up this little bit, and then we're going to do some more hunting. Common Core makes you more reliant on the system. That is very true. I totally slipped my mind. It's the worst when that happens. Maybe I need more coffee. I feel that, Wendy. I feel that. It also makes it much more difficult for kids to learn higher mathematics. It's actually, it's been proven to be a really horrible system to teach uh, children math. Um, but some states still do it. Like Ohio, the meth capital of the world. 
Needing more coffee is very relatable, but I guess if you're doing all the meth, then you do need to probably write down all of the, uh, all of the math when you need to. Meth, math, similar. Exactly. The what capital? It's a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, the what capital of the world? You're going to summon Pietro with that mask? Hey. It's a chonk. Pietro's a chonk. I just teach high school biology so I stay out of Oh, God. There we go. Sell some of these bad boys. Or not. Did I do it again? Oh my god, Tack! What are you doing with your life? Stop it! You're breaking my Ohio heart, Amy. I'm sorry. Sarah, I don't trust stairs. Why? They're always up to something. Indeed they are, pesky stairs. Or are they technically always down to something? Depends on how you view the world. <laughs> A ladder's always be bringing me down. <laughs> Cameras, how are you doing, by the way? Am I still planning to move to Ohio? At some point in time, I, um... I will probably have to. Caden's going to be starting football this year at the, at the end of the summer. And um, by moving to Ohio, I will basically almost never be able to do astrophotography and uh, any of that stuff. Or have backup plan if YouTube falls through. But uh, at some point, I will probably end up having to move there. My son, who was brilliant at math, just got it intuitively, and having to write complete sentences without how he got his answers took his strength and made it a weakness. Yeah. I never did it in school. Anytime they told me to write out the math problem, I just said no and just... <laughs> I was a bad student, probably. But I refused to, uh... Like, just school is just rough, man. Like, I was ambidextrous when I was a kid, and the teacher was like, No! You gotta choose to use one hand! Like, get out of here. Who are you to ruin my life like this? And then from then on, I rebelled. There are clear skies in Michigan, uh, in both lower and upper peninsulas. Which hand do I use? I chose to use uh, my left hand. Out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, for various activities I either use my left hand or my right hand depending on what I'm doing so still slightly ambidextrous but I can't write with both hands because I ended up choosing the left one look at that duck spite feels me too hey it's a good fuel infinite. I looked up Common Core Math and I'm already confused. Yeah, no, I can't help out the kids with the homework. So Everly doesn't do, like, here in Texas they don't do Common Core anymore, but Caden is forced to. So I can't help Caden out with his homework anymore. <laughs> I had to have Ashley help him. So I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> I cannot comprehend it. Do you teach him regular math? I was, but in an effort to not 
make his life miserable in school, I've chosen to just forego um, smart math and just let him. Because he, he already had the struggle to go to, like, transition into learning Common Core. So, like, he would just write down the answers and the teacher would tell him he was wrong. And, like, I would be watching on the Zoom calls, like, don't tell him he's, oh, it's like, this is ridiculous. He got the answer right. But then a, a lot of the big problem, too, is a lot of people don't know how to explain Common Core Math, even the ones that are teaching it, because it wasn't, because the teachers didn't learn Common Core Math and it wasn't taught to them good. So it's a struggle all around for not only for the students, but for those that are forced to teach it as well. It's a nightmare. So it's not really the teacher's fault either. Oh my god, look at that chungus. Big old chungus, puck. And then I can only imagine the poor teachers having to teach Common Core, but then through, like, having to do it through Zoom. I can only imagine how much of a nightmare that was, so. water in my handy dandy water cooler thingy over here. There's a new Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town DLC launching tomorrow. We get a new town with four new characters. Oh snap. Four new characters that are like, yo dog! And that's it. Oh look at that bird. That is exciting though. They did uh, do a pretty big update to the game, too. Like, with all of the makers and stuff, too. Too many game things all at once? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. We still got to try and cover more Biomune, but I don't even know what to record for it. Oh, it's in J the Japanese version? Oh, the US version hasn't even gotten the, um... That one update. Oh, no. Still over here rooting for Turnip Boy? <laughs> Turnip Boy. I'm gonna probably record some of that today. Or tomorrow and start releasing videos of it. As well as some other games, too. When I was in college, a girl brought her daughter's Common Core homework in, and a whole class full of ready-to-graduate college students couldn't figure it out. <laughs> oh man, that about explains it. Ooh, hello. Who are you? It's Muffy! I don't think I've ever seen Muffy before. Is her, is her catchphrase Nightshade? 
Look at that. Look at that face. thought we don't like Sheps. I mean, we don't love Sheps, but we don't hate them either. I <laughs> watched an Animal Crossing horror from while Muffy was married to Pietro. Perfect. I would like one billion boxes of Modern Horizons 2. It looks like such a good set of magic for all my magic nerds out there. Oh yeah, we gotta change this outfit. Oh, not that. We need to put that back down. Oh, good night from across the pond, lovely humans. Have a good stream tag. Might be a member soon. Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful night, Martine. Ah! Sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. Oh, my God. Well, you know what? This path is burning anyways. Eli, what's going on? And thank you so much for the super chat as well. Hip. Hip. You full? Oh, just enough room. <laughs> One more. I'm getting this. I got this. My pathing is destroyed? Yeah. It's... We don't talk about it anymore. It's just the way it is. Ooh, Nook Mile tickets. Well, hello. Some gold nuggets. Got some sweet, sweet money. Suspender outfit? Birdhouse. Hmm. Pirate out. Ooh. We got some clothes. So you can put a new outfit together. Doug and I are going to have a problem if you keep saying you to my babies. I'm going to say you to every single one. Oh my god, it's a bunny day wand. Oh no. This is a... I can't believe I just put it in storage, too. What's wrong with me? Pirate dress? Totally gonna wear that. Great purple emperor model. Mouse bowl? What happened to the over overlay? I liked it. Um, decided to... I didn't update it. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, there's a big arrow. That's who we're hunting. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. So, I mean, technically, we're still kind of looking for Vlad, but it's uh, it's out of date now. I heard you said you to my baby chow. I totally did, Urbo. I totally did. I do like the overlay as well. But, um, I don't know. All right, can we learn this? Wild log bench, eh? Ah! How many spots do I have left? Ooh, we are slowly filling up the inventory space, that's for sure. All right, so we got Laser Cat meme shirt, which is pretty cool. Morning coat, we can do that. Where are our pants? Hmm. We've got our moustache already. We got some shoes. Where did our pants go? No, but seriously, where did our pants go? Hmm. Intriguing. There, 
We don't need no pants. I do, however, need to get rid of this, uh, mask. Definitely scaring the villagers away. Do you guys have Adobe Photoshop? Sure do. Sure do. Moustache. I moustache you a question. Let's put it back in storage. Son of a biscuit! Is there a link for the Demon Slayer movie? Oh, thank you, Kiki. I know what I'm doing tonight. You threw your pants away after encountering Hazel. Oh my god. I did. I forgot. Ah. Will the new update bring Monster Hunter Rise back to the channel or just dead from lack of views? Um. I mean, that... I'll stream it, but it's not going to be like it's daily. Like it was like we were 500 people per stream uh, was Monster Hunter Rise. That was pretty rough. Pretty rough, which then proceeded to kill everything else on the channel by about 50%. So that was cool. Even the Animal Crossing stuff. We were at like 2K per stream and we started streaming that all the time. Then we went down to 15 and now we can't even hit 15 on uh, Animal Crossing streams. So that's that. So yeah. Pretty dead, I suppose. The game is so fun. Oh no, I love Monster Hunter games. Always will. <laughs> no, we didn't get to do the Blood Moon stream because, uh, clouds. I'm cursed. Ladius, have a wonderful night. So, like, the villager position has moved for this island. They've never been high. Oh my god. Hello, you frisky bear. Hello to you. Are you a jock? You look like a jock. Is this a jock villager? Hey, Zeus, thank you for becoming a member again. Welcome back. Jock, burn it to the ground. Man. Ashley needs to clean the, uh, cleanse the house of sage? Probably. We actually talked about that earlier. Meredith, thank you for the sassy lemon. Oh, also, not getting the telescope Thursday. Uh, I tracked it, and it's, like, not coming till like, mid-June somehow, so... Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did have another water in there. Sweet. All right, Wilbur. Taking me to this tiered island. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, 
<laughs> Thank God I didn't have to go up there to see that thing. Oh, nice little minnow. That is awesome. World was how I found your page all those years ago. Oh, I remember. Sucks that YouTube is <laughs> won't let people have fun, but will always watch the content. No, it's, it's not really YouTube's fault. It's my fault from... We don't need to get into it. But anyways, thank you, Grimace. I do remember the good old days. The one thing that I really... I, the one thing I think that really made me not get as heavily into Rise was the fact that we could only invite three people. If we could have invited, like, a whole lobby like we could have in World, I think it would have been a lot more fun to stream. Oh, thank you, Meredith, or whatever you want to stream. I always enjoy watching you play, even if work is preventing me from watching live. Thank you, Meredith, and glad to have you part of the community. Thank you. <gasps> wee wee! I mean, oi oi! Hey! What it do? Oi oi! See, there's a difference between doubting yourself and knowing. And admitting your own failures. Like, you can't grow as a person if you don't admit your own failures. And the slowdown of the channel is completely my fault. There's a lot of reasons for it, but nobody wants to listen to that. Look at that boy. I kind of want to take him, but he's technically not a chonk. Although, he does have a massive chonky head. By that logic, I should have taken Marina. You're right. Can we get a Wisdom with Professor Tag segment on the channel? Oh, man. They're not failures, just learning app learning opportunities. They're like happy little accidents, by then. The only failure that you can have is not learning from your failures. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? And Bethan, thank you so much for the super chat. Why are a lot of the cool looking villagers either jock or smug? You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is Tag releasing a line of motivational posters? <laughs> oh, it's Big Grumbus. Groucho? He's a chunk. Rancho is indeed a chunk. Hmm. Don't you ew my boy, Hannah? Beardo's brother? Burn the island? I'm so tempted. What other... I gotta go look at... I, hmm. Beardo's cranky older brother. 
My brother, boyfriend really wants you to get Vladimir. I kind of really want to get Vladimir as well if I'm going to get another bear. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Like, if I'm going to get another bear, it should be Vladimir. Miki, I will never get rid of Beardo again. Never again. Not on my... I don't even know. I will never forget the St. Paddy's Day stream. The good old days. Turn down for what? Drink every time you die in Monster Hunter. See, Tara? Tara? If you just let Beardo into your life, you'll understand all the possibilities. Can we do a poll? No, I don't really drink anymore. Like, I'll have, like, a little bit, but I have zero interest in ever being drunk again. How much soju is left? Half a bottle. <laughs> My liver just can't handle it anymore. Oh, hello. This is Kid, right? I think it's only the second time I've ever seen him. Yep, I was right. How is the apple flavor soju? It's good. It's good. I'm trying not to drink too much of it because I did just get the second COVID shot yet and I need to stay hydrated. So I'm trying to drink more water, but if I drink too much of all of it, like water, soju, and Red Bull, then I'm going to have to pee like 10 times during the stream and I'd rather not have to do that. I'm trying to stay hydrated so I don't die. It was drink every time you got hit. Oh, yeah. That was, um, that was when I was back when I was actually pretty good at Monster Hunter. <laughs> Hydrate before you dihydrate. I like that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Incoming Vladimir. So we drink every time Tag screams. Next time he plays Resident Evil. I should finish that playthrough. I need to like reorganize all my playlists and put them. Oh my god. I need to actually go through and actually get all of the games that we've played into playlists and organize them properly on the home page of the channel. And that is just, maybe I should just delete all of our backlog or hide it or something and then start over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you beautiful bird. Wait. Wait. Gotta shake that booty. This is why I didn't put pants on. Yeah. Look how happy he is. Got a purple corgi finally. Rue, thank you so much. And congrats on the purple corgi. Been awesome being a part of the community this last year. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you. Lexi, the little baby's turning 21! The youngins. Oh my goodness. I'm getting old. I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. We're going to go so hard on that game. It's going to be great. 
What in Sam hell is going on here? Ah! <laughs> Lexi, are you excited about the uh, Monster Hunter update today with Valstrax? I wonder if we're, if we're going to actually get a uh, bit of a trailer for uh, Breath of the Wild 2 at E3. What I do hope is that they give us an updated look at Pokemon Arceus. Is that how you pronounce it? The Pokemon like open world game? Like, I really hope it doesn't look like hammered butt like the last preview we got. Because it's uh, supposedly coming out in like seven months. Eight, nine, ten months-ish. I kind of want to start a, uh, like a, a Pokemon randomizer, like, uh, what is the one that a lot of people have been playing? Like something red? Like some kind of crazy red version? I'm not excited for it anymore. I think they're rushing out legends are way too fast. I uh, absolutely agree. I feel like they should let uh, Bandai take over it because Bandai did such a good job. The best Pokemon game that we've had in like the last 10 years was Pokemon Snap. Yeah, it might not be like the most exciting, but when it, when you like take into consideration the care and detail and stylization and just the effort that was put into the game, not the fact that it wasn't like a Pokemon, like a traditional Pokemon game, but when you take into consideration the effort and detail that was put into the game, Pokemon Snap is the best Pokemon game we've had in years. Um, so... It's, uh, like, Pokemon companies dropping the ball. They've been resting on their laurels for too long, which is, like, a thing that Nintendo companies do, which is super unfortunate. I think Pokemon with Snap was way overpriced for what it was, though. I mean, to each their own. It's not going to be the best game for everybody, but I found it actually really, really addicting, surprisingly. You should check out the fan-made Pokemon regions. Just search fake Pokemon regions on YouTube. Say what? Are you talking about game or just, like, stuff in general? Radical Red. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Radical Red. I've seen a lot of other people playing it recently. Like, because I've been trying to, like, peruse Twitch and YouTube and see what other people are doing. It seems like, in general, most things have kind of slowed down across the board for gaming stuff. There hasn't been a big game in a while. Everybody's been going back to, like, GTA RP, though. Radical Red, yeah, that's what it is. You play Resident Evil? Pokemon Snap got my heart rate higher than Resident Evil did. That's how little I enjoyed it. Can I force myself to play it because you guys enjoy it? Absolutely. But... I mean, my heart rate gives away how much I don't enjoy the game. <laughs> Animal Crossing gets my heart rate higher than Resident Evil. Shaylee, how have you been? 
Vivian, I checked the general Discord chat. I sent a photo. You were at my Able sisters today. Wait, what? Bunk, 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 bunk. Animal Crossing General. Oh my god, it does look just like me. It's like my entire outfit in Able Sisters. That's great. <laughs> I think Utopia, it doesn't look particularly great. I didn't hear good things from the community either about it. Turbo, 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 Karen! Dan sure got your pulse up to max. Sure did. Today's your ninth anniversary. Congratulations! It's awesome. Well, oh my god, again? We're cursed. Bloody cursed. Just missing the fishnets. Bunner buns, glad to have you part of the community. I cursed you for the child slander, clearly, Urbo. Because we've been having really bad luck since then. Today's Wednesday, right? When does Modern Horizons 2 even release? June 18th. Boy, oh boy. Discord just notified me that you're live. Yeah, somehow I'm not surprised. What is Modern Horizons? It is. Is that a doggo? A doggo. Hi. Pre-orders for Arceus is... I'm going to be waiting on the pre-order for that. I know I'm going to end up buying it anyways because there's no way in hell I'm not going to play it. But still, I just... I hope it looks better at E3. Like, I know the trailer that they showed is more of, like, the concept, but to go from concept to full-blown game in less than a year and have it actually be good is, like, pfft. I don't know how they're going to pull that off. Yinny! Don't have anything important to say. Just happy to be here. Thank you for making this safe place to chill. Oh, and positive hunting vibes. Thank you, Yinny. Sweet baby Jesus. And thank you for being a part of the community. Y'all truly are amazing. Best community on the internet, hands down. Easy. Let's go, Orville. Let's go. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight, too. Gotta get some sustenance. Come on, 
one. Wait, the village is going to be over here. Oh my God. Why? Ah, the dirty ant eaters infesting my life. I'm having to play all of Tag's old videos on repeat because my dog gets upset when his voice stops. Fiona, oh no. I'm so sorry. What's the new dollar store Animal Crossing game called again? Hoko Life. I could play a, a trailer for it. It's not like we're sponsored by them or anything, but I do feel like it would be interesting to check out. So we need to collectively, as a community, find like a good 20, 25 people to create the world's most bestest Animal Crossing farm simulator slash RPG game of awesomeness in the history of gaming. And we'll do a Kickstarter, and it'll be great. And then we can make a game studio, and we can do all the things. I've been convinced verbars are on the way. Hell yeah, Peridot. You're gonna love them. Strawberry, it hurts to say, but my expectations for Game Freak is slowly sinking into the dirt. Oh yeah, no, that was me a long time ago. Um, and Peridot, thank you. And Drina, you can most definitely do the music. Most definitely. Oh, I'm a writer? I'm in? See, look, we got music, we got a writer, we got a producer already. Three down. Are you telling me to dust off my coding brain again? Can I do the logo for it? Look, we got a logo. Now we gotta name it. Chonky Chonks Badonka Donks? Part one. <laughs> Then we need clothing designers so we can get all the clothing and furniture. I can provide funding. We just gotta do the uh the crowdfunding, right? I can definitely provide funding for like the first year as well. I'll make snacks and coffee. <laughs> there, we got the snack department ready to go. Look at this. Game name Taco Farmers. <laughs> I know a voice actor. Wait, is that you? It's you, isn't it? I can play test. Look, we got our play testers. We already have a community of play testers. We got this. I have a fashion design degree. See, perfect. Oh gosh, I don't know. Japanese stuff? There we go. Japanese translations. Perfect. I can provide sarcasm and dad jokes. A game made by gamers for gamers. I can draw bad fan art to make it look popular before it even gets popular. Oh, them's the big brain thinkings right there. Start a startup funding for Corgi Butt Studios. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go claim that name right now. <laughs> I mean, how can Corgi Butt Studios not be successful? Apparently, Hoko Life will have early access on Steam. Yeah, so it comes out uh, June 2nd. I should probably reach out to them because I am curious about it. I could sit there and grumble. I could do that very well. As long as we don't use Unreal Engine. Yeah. Like, Unreal Engine is super powerful, but, like, most all that stuff ends up looking like hammered butt. But then you have to make your own. And then you have to make all of your own assets, which is, like, years and years of development. Winry, I can draw some stuffs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the other one? It starts with an L, not Lotus. 
it's uh what is it it's pretty easy to to, to use mm -hmm. what is it called it's used for a lot of like voxel stuff not linux wait where was the villager <gasps> Oh my god. I work in cyber, make a pretty decent hype squad, just saying. <laughs> oh yeah. And we'll make it truly online. I'm actually the best I've ever been. Working a job I've always wanted, just bought a house, paid off all my debt, and best of all, got my son meds for his ADHD after five year fight. Thanks for asking time. Oh my god. Shaylee, I'm super happy for you. That is amazing. Such good news. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing the good news. So happy to hear you're doing well. Been super busy, so I've been catching up on all the replays, but rarely get to catch a live. Always watching, though. Thank you, Shaylee. Oh, translated to Spanish? A hey, perfect. Sir Hefe did. <laughs> the boss of Corgi Butt Studios. Yes. Did I end up having any side effects? Surprisingly, the side effects that I got from the second COVID shot was that I stopped feeling like butt. I don't know why. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, but honestly, I feel better than I have in months. It's got to be that uh, GPS system or something. Superpowers coming into effect. Hey, Ari, how are you doing? I just saw Baby Chalupa run just now. She's almost 11 months, but yeah, babies run that early. Yeah, she's cruising. Got places to go. You needed that 4G boost. <laughs> I'm sitting here with no doses yet because Kanika. Yeah, I've heard the uh, vaccine deployment in Canada land was pretty rough. Leslie, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the community. Maybe they chose you to test out some superpowers. That'd be cool. As long as my superpower is to make other people poop their pants from anywhere in the world, I'm good. Hands down, the most underrated superpower ever. You could get away with anything. And stop anything. Oh my god, we got him again. Why? Just think about it. Like, yeah, like being able to fly or super strength or like invisibility or any or like super speed. None of those superpowers can compare to the ability to make somebody else poop their pants uncontrollably. You won't have to fight anything. You will literally end every fight before it's even began. You can stop anybody in their tracks. You physically can't do anything while you're uncontrollably pooping. It's just complete incapacitation right off the bat. Done. And nobody would ever even know who you were because you wouldn't have to fight. You wouldn't have to have a costume. It's the perfect superpower. I can translate in Spanish with minnow. It's, oh no, <laughs> y'all trying to make me... <laughs> You've really thought about this tag. <laughs> Don't judge me. Cookie, thank you for the super chat. And Courtney, thank you for becoming a member again. <laughs> Welcome back to the community. <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Oh, 
Snackies, thank you for the turd. I mean, hey, what superpowers would you want? And not the cliche super strength, super speed stuff. You gotta be creative with your superpower. Oh, it's a chonk. It is, in fact, a chonk, but we're getting the hell out of here. You thought about it? I thought about it, yeah. Oh my god, Sarah. I said no cliche superpowers and everyone says cliche superpowers. See? Y'all not thinking outside of the box like the ability to make anybody poop their pants. I can work with Kuki and Korean. I'm somewhat decent at it. Ooh, there we go. And false magic, thank you for the super chat. I always gotta figure out what kind of game we're gonna make. I would want to control Lego with my mind. What would your what would your superpower name be though? The Leganator. The ability to eat anything I want and not get fat. That is probably the best superpower ever. Amy, thank you for the super chat. Time manipulation. The master of time. To make people scream during silent moments? I think that's a pretty good one. Lego lady? That works. You probably get sued, though. Make people sneeze uncontrollably. <laughs> If I'm prioritizing correctly, I'd cure my disability. Prioritizing incorrectly, the ability to fill any container with unlimited sour gummy worms. <laughs> any container. <laughs> this girl I used to know wanted the ability to pull her favorite food out of her belly button at any time. <laughs> Solve world hunger. The ability to manipulate probabilities. There you go. The ability to summon snacks at will. Astral projection so I can read while I'm asleep. There you go. The ability to go in video games would be pretty cool. But I mean, at some point in time, probably within our lifetime, there will be some kind of augmented reality for, uh, for gaming. I mean, at this point, all we need is a large enough storage device and to properly be able to map our consciousness and we'll be able to upload ourselves to the, to a computer. I mean, it's only a matter of time with the way we're going. So a simulation inside of the simulation we're already in? Well, that would be accurate to the theory. There's two schools of thought. If every civilization at some point in time creates a a simulated reality to either mimic or look into uh, so basically to get out of the simulation, there you go. Basically, the, the theory is that at some point in time, all civilizations will create a type of simulation indistinguishable from reality. And if all civilizations at some point in time do that, then there's a higher chance that we are a simulation than we are actually not a simulation. Or if you look at it in a different perspective, where there's either a 50% chance that we are in a simulation or 50% chance that we're not. So either we are the civilization, we're in the civilization that has made the simulation already, or we are the civilization that is currently getting to the point of creating the simulation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the theory, at least. Mm 
It's also kind of interesting because uh, a lot of the stuff in simulation theory um, solves a lot of the issues that we have with like, uh, well, a lot of different things as far as quantum mechanics and physics go, since both break down at the big and the small and there's no unifying theory, but simula simulation theory unifies it in, in a way, kind of. It fills the gaps that we yet don't understand. It's actually kind of interesting. Whether you believe it or not, it's fun to look into. I haven't had enough sleep for this conversation. My brain zoned out thinking about belly button snacks. That's honestly exactly what I was just thinking about, too. <laughs> it's like, ugh, it's kind of nasty, but at the same time, any snack? Starting a second island with my elderly father, he's decided he wants a pirate bar and only unpopular villagers. Should be an interesting experience? Hell yeah. I like your dad already. Belly button lint? Well, I'm sure if you had the power to bring snacks out of your belly button, you'd keep it clean. You know? Imagine just pulling a Slim Jim out of your belly button. Oh, no. The lint's just a garnish. It was a really weird shift at work when she brought up belly button snacks as her superpower. I can only imagine. <laughs> Taylor, thank you for the super chat. I mean, the conversation that has to lead to it is uh, has to be a rather interesting one. Do you feel pain when you're pulling out the food is the real question? Well, I mean, but then again, what kind of snack is it? Even if it was painful, if the snack is tasty enough, but then you kind of get into like Pavlov's dog kind of thing where then you start associating food with pain and then you'll kind of just stop eating. Can I get unlimited tacos out of your belly button? The question is, does it like fuse from your body? So then technically, are you eating yourself? Like, are you a cannibal at that point? Or are you just like creating it at your belly button? You know, like if you're pulling it out of your belly button, then technically maybe you're eating yourself. But if your belly button is like the source of where this food like just appears from, there's a lot of questions to be had here. And I think we're scaring a lot of people away, but <laughs> or is it a portal to the snacks right is this a portal we're talking about <laughs> super hear me out superpower sweating soju Maybe soju is really just the sweat of rice. Is it cannibalism if you're eating yourself? I, you know, I don't know. Kind of scared to Google it too. 
We didn't get into that part, but it was free from lint. That was clear. <laughs> Perfect. Vicky, how are you doing today? No wonder belly button stinks. It's rotten food. Exactly. It's called self-cannibalism. Yeah, that, I think that is true. Oh, Katesy, have a wonderful day. All right, we got Money Rock Island. Come on, we need a good villager. Just, oh my God, it's Cherry again. We've gotten Cherry every day for these hunts so far. This is why I love this community. It's weird and I love it. You got to embrace the strange. Makes life more interesting. As long as that strange isn't cannibalism. Also, just remember, that sweet smell that you smell, or that... I guess it's not really a sweet smell. But that smell that you smell when you go into a, uh... Into a tanning bed is actually the, uh... The smell of the cooked flesh of everybody else that's tanned in there, so... Just keep that in mind next time you go for a tan. <laughs> That's really small, Carl. <laughs> I'll stay pasty. <laughs> it was not a sharp turn from the last conversation. We are talking about cannibalism, and... I don't even know. What, do you, what even is life? Look at this dog. Calling me out with my star damage. Oh god, I thought we were gonna get bead. Good old cookie. She's kind of adorable. I think I'm gonna go get Taco Bell after this. It's a Wednesday, but it's a Tuesday somewhere. Actually, it's not a Tuesday somewhere, because it's Thursday somewhere. Well, Taco Thursday. Who did we kick out? We kicked out Wade. Me, I'm in Thursday. See? Future people. What's it like in the future? This conversation scared away 275 people. That is talent right there. Or a better, an better Animal Crossing streamer started streaming. I'm assuming it's the latter. <laughs> They're just weak. <laughs> exactly. Hey, 859, how are you doing? Oh man, another duck. Can't handle our big brain convos. <laughs> I kind of want to seriously start looking into, actually, like, the game creation, though. Like, I know we've talked about it many times, but... I feel like I would bit off more than we could chew, though. 
and have way too high expectations, we end up falling into the trap of trying to create something too big. Like, imagine if a AAA studio actually tried to make, like, a legitimately good, like, open... Well, not open world. Open world isn't really the, the uh... But, like, a survival game. That's not the right word, either. Like, I'm quite fond of, like, the farming sim... Like, Stardew Valley, absolutely amazing. But imagine, like, a high-budget, multiplayer... Like, true, like, persistent world kind of Stardew Valley, but in, like, a, in a large world. Like, there's, like, been a lot of, like, small studios that have tried to do it, and, like, some have, like, good pieces of very different things. Like a life sim, yeah. Many have tried, but it's all been from, like, very, very small studios, and nobody's been able to do it good yet. Ah. They always end up being mobile games, right? Like a Minecraft Stardew Animal Crossing mashup for 50 people to play on one server. Like RuneScape, but farming. I would say like... Like, an, like if Minecraft Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing had a baby... But looked better... Would you like me to lift your curse? Maybe, Urbo. Maybe. The Story of Seasons mobile game actually looks amazing. It's made by Tencent. Um, but honestly, it looks really good. Like Ark, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley? Yeah. Ooh. Urbo has lifted our curse, finally. But you could build a tunnel. I hate everything. It's not happening today. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's six o'clock. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the curse remains. But thank you so much for hanging out with me, you wonderful humans. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um... Tomorrow we'll probably play a little bit more Biomune and maybe a couple other things as well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'll see you all in the next one.